just it was stupid and shitty. He's a shitty like three hundred is way too many to get into. It would take you like it would take you two years After to a really top hundred. You're just throwing titles out there. Animal Crossing. Set up. Yep, Angry yeah. Birds. Bejeweled. Fucking bejeweled. Madden NFL 2004. Oh god. All right. So how many I mean, Maddens were on that list? A good amount. I actually made that. That's what I was texting you guys. I said Game Informer 300th issue. Um, the only top 300 list where there's more Maddens than Final Fantasies on there. Well, actually, I'm sort of... Fu- there should only be two Final Fantasies on there. There are there are only two on there. But really? No, I mean, no, there's there's seven, there there's Tactics, there's four, oh, there there's oh. the real four. <laughs> then I, like, they're just throwing shit at the wall, but they're like, I yeah. like this, and they're like looking at shit that they, they own, they're like, okay, that game's good too. Throw it in there. And that's why games aren't on there, I think. They, they fucking just yeah. it overlook shit. More, yeah, there were more clear overlooks. 100 to issue 300. I bet it's like they're practically replaced with a whole younger crowd. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say, there's no way anybody who wrote this list is over the age of 25. You think? Yeah. So, Chris, like, from the list, do you, do you say that because, like, the old games are, like, more, like, cult followings or, like, they have a big... They, they have like they still have a big like uh, fan base to them. What are you saying? Like, there's a lot of good games that aren't on there. Yep. And I feel like, from what I was reading, a lot of that was like lost in translation because they weren't around for those games. And like, I think so. And those games yeah. didn't like those games didn't stick with the history of what's considered to be good for older systems and shit. Like, there's games right. that just name any system that has a lot of good library like it has a big library Genesis or like PS1 mm. there's games on PS1 that are fucking probably great that will never be on top 100 lists right. by most people if, yeah, yeah if you didn't forget. play it in 1996 like, it wasn't popular then it was never popular over the years it never had some weird comeback and then people just fucking forgot yeah, about they it they just don't know don't so um are there any early early mentions that, is, that stood out as an odd odd placement or uh absence one that i think we'll all fucking agree is snatcher there's oh no fucking gosh. snatcher on the list and i That's thought that was one. like every even people who didn't play snatcher but are like i love video games mm-hmm. would still put snatcher in their like top 25 50? Yeah, yeah 50 25 I, I don't even know i mean it would be in a top 100 of mine i think but i but there's a. I was browsing over the list too. Uh, maybe you. I don't know if you have a lot, Chris. I just have a few things. But I guess generally looking over the top, we could dive in more for the the hundred. I guess the hundred, mm-hmm. the last top hundred that they picked. But the three hundred to one hundred one or whatever. Um, it just seems just all over the place. Mm-hmm. Like, and there's this some is games a ton in that of list. Three star games. There's some games that that are really good and belong on lists for sure, but at the same time, there's no like order of where that should be. Yeah, like what makes Yakuza Zero 300 in Wii Sports 299? Exactly. Yeah. So would, if you flip those, would anybody notice? Like, you know, no. I mean, I guess this. Is, I get it. This is just for fun. This isn't supposed to be the definitive top 300 games. And like, you know, like we've decided. Here's the list that you've been waiting for us, but. Here's one 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 quick one that that stood out. What, you know, I, I've been following lists like this for a long time. Uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly used to do them. I think Game Informer did them. Um, I'm not Game Informer. Game Game Pro, Game Informer has done them. There's certain games I always look for to see where they where they placed. Um, and a and a big one that usually gets uh, really high up there that didn't in this one is Panzer Dragoon Saga. Um, oh yeah, two twenty seven. I just every, hit it. That's made every top list, like if they'd done the top 50 games, the top 100 games, it's in the list. Yeah. But this top 300 list, suddenly it's, what, 227. Really? And this... this Adventure then... is right under it. <clears throat> we'll, we'll call back. <laughs> yeah. Now this list is just, this is just like games that they think are the best, not like so much the importance and stuff, because there's bullshit right. games that I wouldn't... There's games I would put on a list of being important for like gaming versus mm-hmm. like they wouldn't be on like my favorites list. The- Call of like Duty a- Four: Modern Warfare is the seventh greatest game uh, of all seventh. time. 
of all time. I've, I've been digging Call like, of Duty, a, but I wouldn't put any Call of Duty in, you know, like top 20 anything. Like Pong and Street Fighter, if you want to talk about the importance of those games. Yeah, Pong. Like, who's digging on Pong nowadays? Yeah. yeah. Who's but like, ah, I'm going to throw on some Pong for two hours. talking about importance versus fun, no one's playing Pong because, like, oh, Pong's fun, let's play it. It's more of a, of a you know, interest you know, curiosity or whatever, but if you want to talk about its importance in the gaming in- industry, I mean, yeah, it basically launched it. It's the so it's important. first video game. Yeah, yeah. So it would be like, oh, yeah, you know, Pong, you know, out of respect, I felt like they in- included it, but they don't... They don't have reasoning for where it's at or anything like that. Right. That's why an importance, like a ranking of the, you know, games that, you know, defined how gaming went. Like, that would be a more interesting list. Make that 50 games that fucking, you know, redefined how video games, whatever. Yeah. Like, Fatal Frame 2? Yeah, Fatal Frame <laughs> 2 was cool as shit. Like, that game was cool as shit. I'm looking at it right now. 265 on the ranker. But it doesn't belong on a list of, like, the best of games yeah, the of all greatest. time. Because uh, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Like, like Silent Hill Two set that standard for where we like actually kind of creepy horror survival horror shit yeah, environmental came from. Kinda. Fatal Frame Two is just another one that was like, wow, this is actually besides Silent Hill, this is one of the few that actually are fucking freaky. You use a camera, you take pictures of ghosts and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I have uh, one thing that I saw in the top like 200 or so that I that I caught that I, I wanted to comment on. Um, so I saw Donkey Kong Country being listed at 193, which I wanted to comment originally that I thought That's that was way low. kind of a 193. Yeah, like it's like it should be up higher. You mean like yeah, it should down. be a, yeah top in a higher rank. Fifty at least. Yeah. So I was actually kind of surprised in a good way because based on like the way they were throwing shit out there at the list and like they seem a little bit younger, I thought that was going to be much much higher. Donkey Kong Country. Hmm. And I usually, people usually never agree with me, but I think Donkey Kong Country is a, it's an overrated game Mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, I've been hearing that a lot. It's it's fucking awesome. Like the the graphics and that animation for 16-bit was so good and their level designs were really tight and it was a really fucking hard game in a good way. But the music was rad. And the music was rad. And, um... I don't think it ever really did anything that really, like, Peggle? blew the fucking roof off with, like, innovation, in my opinion. Yeah. But I was like, all right, that's kind of cool. That's a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. And then I was scrolling down a little bit more, and then I saw that Crash Bandicoot 3 was number 168, which is proof that that list is fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that Crash 3 did any differently than any 2D platform slash 3D platform. Like, that's what Crash was. Crash was like, hey... Yeah, none of the Crash games elements. really changed all that much No, from they, one. Just, they just tweaked and got tight. tight. Yeah. And they did little, like, mini flying and things and shit like that. And it all played good. But they just took aspects of 2D platforming and 3D that was good. And they made it run well. There was nothing really innovative about Crash. Except the Tiki guy. A Budumuga. Yeah. A Budumuga. Amplitude making the list at all, I wrote down. It's yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> But then I'm like, oh, cool. So I wonder where they put gu- Guitar Uman. It's not on there at all. Yeah, oh, yeah. I have. The, but, I got but that Rock right Band here. Is on there. You know why these these lists are so shitty now? Because all these magazines and these these editors and shit, they go online. They go on video game ranking sites and shit like that to check stuff out. Mm. And they there's no data because that shit for these games didn't exist. Like mm. the data that they pull is either it's it's data from like revision, like reviews and shit. If you go on Game Rankings right now and you search Sega Saturn games reviews, you're only going to get like 15 because there's only like 15 or so website reviews that date old enough to actually like archive the shit back over. So they're pulling a list off of shit that they can find online. They're not digging through magazines and actually looking through like Remembering real, like... Yeah, real library like databases to be like, oh fuck, yeah. Because, dude, I would do that if I went in with just a computer... Like, I would walk around my fucking room and look at games. I would forget shit. It would take a really long time to, to dredge up all the fucking games. Because even when I was trying to think of games that they missed, I just had to, like, Google, like, 
Saturn games, Genesis games. I was like, holy mm. shit! Like, I didn't even think of that. They fucking yeah, but then missed. you're getting to a point, you're, you're getting out of a list ranking. You're just getting at, let's just look up some good games, and if it's not on this, just throw it at it. But it's just for the ideas, because, like, you can say, well, what's better than, ge you know, Geometry Wars? So you'll search Saturn, you'll search Genesis, Nintendo this, Nintendo that, and find immediately games that should be ranked higher or at least included on the list instead of that one. So I get I get that. Yeah, and I could say, man, Rayman Legends actually was an awesome fucking Rayman reboot mm. for the next-gen systems. But they're right, man. NCA, NCAA Football 2011 <laughs> was fucking better. It was better. <laughs>